Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about how to determine the circumference of a circle. So what exactly is circumference? So what we're gonna do is we're going to fill in this first page together. All right, so take notes with me. And then you have a chance to pause the video and try a problem on your own. And then when you're done, you can see how you did. All right, so again, what exactly is circumference? Well, circumference is the distance around a circle. So, so let's write that in. So it's a the distance around a circle. All right, maybe you've heard the term perimeter. So kind of, it's basically like the, the perimeter uh, of the circle. And the way you gotta know about this is there's a formula to determine the circumference. And that circumference equals pi, which is 3.14, times the diameter of the shape. All right? So here we have a circle. And remember, the circumference is distance all the way around the circle, okay? So it's a distance. So let's first write down the formula. So circumference equals pi times d. And we know the circumference is gonna be 3.14 times our diameter. And now here they, we know that the radius is two. And remember the diameter goes all the way across. It's twice the radius. So if I'm gonna double this. So we know the, the diameter is gonna be four. So circumference is gonna be 3.14 times four. And we get an answer of 12.56. Now, because it's just a distance, okay, the label is gonna be just inches. All right, so the distance around the circle would be 12.56 inches. Um, so again, not square inches, not nothing cubed, it's just inches. All right, the second one, we have another circle, and this time, we they give us the diameter, right? So again, always write down the formula. Circumference is pi times d. And circumference is going to be 3.14 times our diameter. And this time, again, we know the diameter is 8. So we just plug in an 8. And when we multiply 3.14 times 8, we get an answer of 25 and 12 one hundredths. And again, it's a distance. So it's going to be meters. So it's going to be meters. That's going to be the label. All right, so the big thing to remember about this, to find the circumference, is just the pi times the diameter. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn now problem, and when you're done, hit play, you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do this practice problem. So for this circle, we know the, the diameter is 22 inches. So again, it's always good to write down formula. It kind of shows your thought process. So circumference is pi times d. And let's plug in what we know. So it's gonna be 3.14. And again, we know the diameter is right here is 22. So times 22. And to get circumference, we just do 3.14 times 22. And that's gonna be 69 and 8 hundredths. But the question is, what's the label gonna be? And again, because it's a distance, it's just gonna be inches. All right, so there is your answer. All right, how'd you do?